I just bought shares of 3M at a price of $160.39. Now that's roughly a $16,000 investment. And I don't make investment decisions like this willy-nilly. There is some method to the madness. So 3M, it's not going to be a home run investment. I'm not going to double or triple my money, at, at least anytime soon. But playing the long game, that's easily doable. It's really a cash flow machine. For an income investor, 3M, it's as reliable as it comes. The company has paid dividends without interruption for more than 100 years. That spans multiple generations. Not only that, it's also increased its dividend for 63 years in a row. 3M has survived and thrived through a pandemic, a great recession, the dot-com bubble, a world war, and many other downturns. This is a powerful trend to see, and I don't expect it to change. As you'll soon see, the company it keeps chugging along and rewarding investors along the way. To start, we're going to dig into some of the biggest risks with investing in the company. Now, this isn't as exciting, but risk management it's what really sets apart novice from experienced investors. Or of course, you can feel free to skip ahead to the good stuff. You'll find timestamps in the description down below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe because that helps out my YouTube channel. This is just a side passion project where I share some of my direct investment insight. And unlike most, uh, most sources online, I tend to put my money where my mouth is. So diving in with any investment, I always start out by asking, why should I not invest? So why should I not invest in 3M stock? Investors are already factoring in some big risks and they've pushed down 3M's share price, as you can see in the chart. It's down roughly 40% from its all-time high back at the start of 2018. And it's down more than 20% from its peak last year. One big risk that often comes up in conversation is market timing. So let's get this important point out of the way. The downtrend could easily continue and there might be better buying opportunities ahead. Although this is always a risk and trying to time the market in the short term is a fool's game. The world's best investors can't do it consistently. As the saying goes, time in the market is more important than timing the market. Overall, the stock market is it's overvalued based on many metrics. That's based on historical averages. It's really hard to find good deals today. And another recession, it, it might be on the horizon. Although this mindset is what keeps investors on the sidelines for far too long. Instead, it's better to focus on individual companies and investments. And 3M, it's trading at an attractive valuation based on its price relative to underlying value. So I did plan on covering more risks in detail, but 3M, it really doesn't have any huge out of the normal issues. It's a fairly standard set of concerns with litigation getting some of the most attention more recently. So of course there's regulation and litigation, supply chain issues, inflation, competition, low growth, etc. Really, this is nothing new, and 3M, it just continues to create value for its customers, investors, and other stakeholders. Looking at top-line growth, here's 3M's revenue over the past decade. Revenue bounces around slightly, but is trending in the right direction. To accomplish this fairly stable growth, 3M has built out an impressive portfolio of products. It produces over 60,000 different products. The company has not yet released its full year 2021 report, so here's a look at 2020 revenue by segment. Safety and industrial is the largest segment, followed by the transportation and electronics segment. Then comes healthcare, followed by the consumer segment. The company is just widely diversified on a product level, and also globally, as you can see in this next chart. Almost 50% of total revenue comes from outside the Americas. 3M has impressive reach and economies of scale with some pretty good pricing power. So as we move further down the financial statements, income numbers, they have been moving higher as well. There's been more year-to-year -year volatility, but that's really to be expected with countless GAAP, IFRS, and other accounting rules. 
So with profits and cash flows moving higher over time, 3M is able to continue rewarding investors with bigger dividends. Over the past 10 years, the dividend per share has more than doubled. It's up close to 170%, and it's up over 10% on a cumulative annual growth basis. So that far outpaces average inflation. It's even higher than the recent spike, which might not sustain for hopefully too long. The dividend growth now, it has, it has slowed recently, but this has happened plenty of times throughout its long payout history. And either way, buying 3M shares at a price of $160.39, I've locked in close to a 3.7% dividend yield on my cost. Relative to other investment opportunities today and with the dividend safety in mind, it's really hard to beat. So with this next chart, we can get a better idea of the dividend safety. The payout ratio is trended up, but it remains well within safe levels. With the recent ratio coming in below 60%, there's more than enough wiggle room to continue paying and increasing the dividend. To add to the dividend safety, the company is sound when it comes to the balance sheet trends and ratios. Over the past three years, total liabilities and debt, they've dropped slightly. All the while cash and cash equivalents, it's gone up from about 2.4 billion to $5.7 billion. So from a debt management standpoint, leverage ratios are well within safe levels considering the industry. So no big concerns there. On top of the sound balance sheet and consistent dividends, 3M has also been buying back shares. Over the past 10 years, total shares outstanding have dropped from 719 million to 586 million today. That's more than an 18% decrease. And when looking at the most recent quarterly filing on the SEC, roughly 6.5 billion remains available under the past buyback authorization. In my mind, a repurchase program, it's just another layer of safety for dividends. If tough financial times come along, it would likely be cut first. So overall, 3M's management it has a pretty solid track record when it comes to capital allocation. So now let's take a quick look at 3M stock price relative to the value. In the words of Warren Buffett, whether socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it is marked down. When it comes to socks, it's pretty easy to see what they're worth or determine their value. But with multinational corporations, on the other hand, it's not as easy to determine what they're worth. That's why we see a lot of short-term volatility in the stock market. Nonetheless, there are some simple metrics we can use to get a good idea of what 3M's current valuation is. When it comes to valuing a stock relative to underlying value, there are many ways to slice that cake. Um, I used to rely pretty heavily on discounted cash flow modeling, although in more complexity, it doesn't often lead to better outcomes. Instead, it has a tendency to raise confidence without leading to those better outcomes. So let's just go ahead and look at two of the more popular value indicators. And thanks to 3M's long track record, these are more useful for valuing the company because we can look at averages over time. Now to start, here's the all popular PE ratio. This is just a year by year and it shows roughly 10 years. Coming in at a lower than average level today, the current PE ratio shows a much better value opportunity. Now that is assuming that 3M continues its stable long-term earnings growth. And if we look back even further, the PE ratio, it, it goes lower, but nonetheless, still, it's still one of the better opportunities today. Now for the second indicator of value, let's look at the dividend yield based on its historical average. I've pulled data going back even further this time. Coming in at close to 3.7% today, 3M's dividend yield is on the higher end when looking back at well over a decade. It only spiked higher around the start of the pandemic and during the housing crisis. From a yield perspective, 3M is just looking solid today. Overall, 3M stock still isn't the cheapest it's ever been, but from a financial standpoint, it's still one of the best income opportunities today for long-term investors. I hope you've enjoyed my research and please let me know if you have any questions down below. And if you want to see two of my favorite non-dividend paying companies or stocks to invest in, you can check out this other video. I'll link to it down below as well. The companies are growing at rapid rates 
and yet investors have pushed down their share prices. So I've put even more of my life savings into those companies. Now for a final time, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe. Um, thanks and I'll see you next time.